What's up, guys? Welcome to another exciting, exciting day on 13 Nights of Halloween. We have a interesting episode for you today. I've never done one like this. I think I tried a while ago with a reaction to a music video, but I didn't quite like it. So I'm going to try this again. Um, I have decided to add short film commentary. There's like a whole slew of channels on YouTube that do short films instead of watching a feature film that likely everybody watched. <laughs> um, but today we are going to watch a short film called We Die Alone on the YouTube channel Alta. I'm going to watch a short film called We Die Alone on the YouTube channel Alter. Um, Alter is a channel that has a whole slew of horror movies and the movies are actually really great. <laughs> You look beautiful. You look so, real quick. Do guys really rehearse their lines like that before they go on a date? Because I understand being nervous, but I just, I, I just really want to know. Do you guys really do that? Do you? You were catfishing me. Who the fuck are you? You can't do this to people. Fuck you. I'm not a monster. I promise. When I speak to women online, I'm not lying to hurt them. I'm lying because I want to be the person I pretend to be. The confident guy who meets someone and charms them. But I can barely leave my apartment. It's like I'm invisible in the real world. Like I could collapse in the middle of the street and everyone would just walk over me. Every time I hope I'll change that it'll be different. If I could just get the nerve. Okay, so that takes Finder Full of Women to a whole creepy level. Ah, oh, they cut two of my shifts next week and gave them to Darlene. Saving for a vacation. You can have my Thursday shift if you need it. You don't have any secret girlfriends I need to know about, do you? Uh, no, I, I've just been really busy and, and I haven't had, had much time to focus. I'm so. joking, Aiden. <sighs> but let me help you. I know you're one of the good ones. You give us single gals hope. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> It's true. <laughs> so far, the vibe I'm getting is that he's he's a cute little puppy, and he wants to be loved and cuddled. But we know how that works out in horror movies sometimes. So. Uh... <laughs> Hello. Sorry, I locked myself out of my apartment. Hi, I was just wondering if you have the manager's number. Hello? Hey, this is Aiden in 1203. Um, Chelsea in 1204. Chelsea in 1204 is locked out of her apartment. Could Cool phone. It's vintage. Well, I don't have a cell phone, so... Good for you. I'm off the grid, too. I mean, no Facebook, no Instagram. It's a lot of pressure being someone I'm not. Oh, I was obsessed with puzzles when I was a kid. I would do one of those 300-piece ones for hours, and then the second I was done, I'd just destroy it and start all over. I'll see you around.
look what I saved for you. Oh. <laughs> Isn't it cool? Mm, wow. Thanks. I got this group on for one of those photography sessions, and uh, last weekend I had photos made. I've always wanted professional photos of myself, so I thought, why not? Oh, wow. Those are nice. <sighs> anyway, the photographer thought maybe I should put them on a dating profile. It's probably a silly idea. I mean, I'd rather meet someone in person anyway. How long after meeting someone that you like would you want them to ask you out? Well, there's no right way or right time to ask someone out. You just know that you have that connection. It's kind of like when you're, your mouth wants to form the words that a kiss would explain better. If you wait for the perfect moment, you'll never do anything. So just go for it. Chelsea, give me a call. Get this. Beautiful, and I'm glad that you're here. And I... you look beautiful, and I'm glad that I'm glad that you're here. And I feel like we've, we've really connected. I'm glad that you're here, and I feel like we've really connected tonight. You you look beautiful, and, I, and I'm glad that that we're here. And I feel like that we. Beautiful, and I'm glad that you're here, and I feel like we really connected. Oh yeah, yeah, I um, I just, well, I found a new puzzle at work yesterday. Maybe you could come over and uh, we could put it together. Uh, sure. Shit. Do you <clears throat> cover for me? Of course, no problem at all. You get some rest and feel better, okay? Okay, uh, thanks, Elaine. This was so good, I was starving. I didn't know what you liked, so. Oh, it was perfect. Can't go wrong with pizza. Unless you eat it with a knife and fork. <laughs> I hate that too. I bother unpacking anymore. So, do you plan on keeping this apartment for a while? I don't know. Maybe. I don't like feeling too settled, I guess. Well, what happens if you meet someone? I'm not trying to meet anyone. I was so concerned about talking about love and connection when, at the end of the day, a man's basic instinct is to spread his seed to as many women as possible. When there are assholes. I'm sorry, uh, I didn't mean to... Look, I'm sure you're great. It's just... I've been hurt a lot, and I've realized it's better if I just keep to myself. I'm invisible. You look beautiful. And I'm glad that you're here. And I feel like we really have a connection. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I, I didn't mean to. I just. I. I, I need a minute. <sighs> you know. 
what? I think I'm just gonna leave. No, no, please, please don't go. I didn't plan this. Hi. Hi. Um, Abilene, is, uh, is Aiden here? Yeah, he's just in the shower. He called in sick today, so I, I thought I would, I brought him some chicken noodle soup. I thought I could just be Aiden's friend. Everybody else, the ones who devote their lives to finding a soulmate, to protecting their relationships, they're lying to themselves. They're trying to hide the truth. Sooner or later, someone always cheats, lies, runs, ignores, hurts. They don't want to face it. But in the end, we die alone. All right then, um, that was very, very um, <clears throat> interesting. That was alone on altar, and oh my god, that twist! That was that was definitely, definitely a twist that I did not. Wow, that was wow. Um, so. I like how the character development was that we feel the entire time that Aiden was going to do something, but it was, yo, that's so fucked up. <laughs> that is, that is foobard beyond any recognition of any sort. Just, wow, homegirl, she... I have no words. Um, I love how they only had uh, three sets. Um, Aiden's apartment, the store where he works, and the laundry room. And I like I love how they set up Aiden to be the creepy one, to be the one that um, he's a sweet little lamb, but it's a horror movie, so he might kill this girl. But then we get that twist. It is like, holy, wow, this woman is nutso. Um, it was amazing, and I love it. It, it's definitely a horror movie for people that that feel that feel that way. I get that. I get how she feels, and I get how he feels, but. I have a completely different reaction <laughs> to how she how she handles um that situation. I definitely would not be killing people. I mean, girl, that's how you get a Yeah, that's how you catch several charges. <laughs> and I'm not about that life. Um, but the movie is called we Die Alone. It's on the YouTube channel Alter. I want to find all sorts of horror short films. I will leave I will link at the I will leave a link in the description for this short film so you can watch it for yourself. Um and while you're down there checking out this short film, check out the rest of Ladybug Productions. Click the subscribe button, ring that bell so that you can get notifications. Four new videos that we make and we're coming out with is 13 Nights for Halloween. Also down there are the links to the social medias, um, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and our Facebook page. Also is our Patreon, so if you want to support the channel, support the company to bring you more, more content, awesome and wonderful short films from our pure imaginations, then please please do so that would be amazing and 
we will see you next time for more 30 nights of halloween with her love you guys we'll see you next time bye my lovelies